for Utah's most accurate forecast with Alana Brophy, weather rate certified 11 years in a row. And it is now officially summer. And a gorgeous night out there, Alana. It was so pretty. We had clear skies to close out the summer solstice sunset. Great shot here. Meg Roberts catching that from Antelope Island with that orange glow. It was a day where temperatures were very close to where they should be this time of year. 85 in Salt Lake, 86 the average. We were just below it. Low 90s in Moab, 98 in St. George, which is the average. A lot of 70s, 80s out there. So it was a gorgeous day and a pretty quiet start to the season with those clear skies and not much going on. Now a portion of the Beehive State did see some smoke filled skies. I'll show you where and where the smoke is headed. Our heat is building and we're going to notice that as we make it through the rest of our work week. And I've got the timeline on our next monsoon push, bringing some storms on the move, impacting a portion of the Beehive State. We're there for you telling you exactly when. Check out this plume of smoke. It is the Left Fork Fire. This was taken from Kanab tonight. Judy Keel sending that our way. What a plume there. And we are seeing smoke in the south central portion of the state. Now Bryce Canyon country definitely seeing it thicker. And with our southwesterly flow, we watch as that smoke gets carried over I-70 on the future cast model towards Castle Country and then over near Moab. High pressure in control. We're watching moisture from the south that is eventually going to migrate north. But today it was all about the clear skies and quiet conditions. Cloud cover already starting to show up in the southern portion of the state and the increase will be noticeable into tomorrow. Here's why. So we get this push of moisture coming up, monsoon push, with an area of high pressure to our east. And now we've got an area of low pressure to our west. And that's going to dig towards Utah and pull from the Gulf of California. So two different moisture sources bringing the potential of thunderstorms for our Wednesday. Where? Great question. Eastern side of the state, southern Utah and central Utah all have the chance of seeing a storm. So eyes to the skies for tomorrow. And as we take a look at our future cast model, it shows you exactly when and where. So we start to see those clouds streaming in, mostly cloudy skies in St. George and those isolated storms popping up. They could pack a punch with that moisture near Moab, I-70 towards Lake Powell, as well as near Beaver County and Iron County. Don't rule them out there. We're watching as those storms move from south to north. They get a a little further into central Utah, so we'll keep our eyes peeled near Utah County and then the eastern side of the state seeing some stronger storms. Also, check out near Cedar City. That's going to be an area where we get a sneaky storm. Things start to calm down and clear as we head into Thursday, but we can't rule out the potential as you see a front coming through. We have potential for flash flooding when we see those storms popping up on the radar, and that's for several of our national parks. This is the time of year where we love to get out and hike and bike, but you've got to know before you go, it is possible to see a thunderstorm that produces a flash flood in places like Zion, Capitol Reef, Canyonlands. Arches is out of the mix tomorrow, but just know that could change. 80s and 90s for those daytime highs, with Salt Lake climbing back into the low 90s for our Wednesday. Low 90s expected in Moab, 80s in the basin, Castle Country, 80s along the I-15 corridor, and 95 in St. George where storms are going to really target over towards Lake Powell, but that cloud cover in St. George will be noticeable. Taking a look at the next seven days, showing you Washington County where we see those temperatures getting close to 100 degrees and getting back there by the weekend. Again, a slight chance of a storm on Friday. Can't rule it out. And then the heat makes a return. More cloud cover in St. George as a result of that influx in moisture. Here's the Wasatch Front 91 tomorrow. Thursday through Sunday, slight chance of a storm. We see those 90s kind of peak and valley as we get through the next little while. But all of those numbers for the next seven days above average, so that'll give you an idea. Summer's coming in and it's ready to heat things up. Glenn, Courtney, over to you.